<clears throat> Hi fairies and welcome back to my channel. It's Larija Andrea and I know I've been gone for quite some time. <laughs> Not even quite some time. I've been gone for a very long time so um, I'm back. I am ready to film again. It was just a lot going on. I was sick after coming back from the cruise. I had sunburn in my face so I couldn't record and put makeup on it because I had to wait until my skin peeled. Um, so my skin is back to normal. I do have a, like a few stress pimples on my forehead. But you guys know like when I get stressed out, I break out like crazy. But it's nothing compared to what it looked like last year. We already know what that looked like. but. My skin is finally getting back together, so I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable and ready to start filming again. So I want to do a full get ready with me. I just got done curling my hair. Most likely I'm going to be having a whole separate video coming out to show you guys how I like to curl my hair because you guys have really been curious about it. I want to be honest with you guys, I was never really a fan of curling hair only because I never really knew how to curl hair properly. I just now started really curling my hair like that because I was just, not even that I was too scared to do it, but I just felt like I never really curled hair right, so I just never really did it. And I'm finally, I finally figured out how to curl it in what direction and all that stuff. So I will most likely make a separate video. Um, showing how I do curl my hair but yeah pretty much this video will just be me taking out my pins and how I like to fluff my hair and style it and all that stuff so this hair is from Asteria hair I used their hair before and it was with their kinky curly hair I love that wig by the way that's definitely like my vacation hair because the curls on it is so bomb but this is their Malaysian body wave so this is a excess bundle that I had. This is a 20 inch from their hair. Their hair is, exterior hair, like if you guys want something a little bit more affordable, I know nowadays people are being a little bit bougie when it comes to their hair. Like they're like, no, like this is not AliExpress hair. So people are kind of like venturing off from the whole AliExpress vibes. But if you guys are still like me, more on an affordable type of budget, I would definitely highly recommend Asteria Hair as far as like a top five, not even a top five, like a top three AliExpress company. And number two, for it to be such an affordable price, they have very high quality hair, which is very shocking and very surprising. So like I said, this is their Malaysian body wave. You guys can see that luster and that shine to it and the bounce. It's absolutely beautiful. And you guys will see when I take out my pens like how gorgeous this hair really is so moving on i will be um doing a whole talk through type of video i wanted this video to be about talking about my life i will be answering a ton of questions that you guys had for me on my q a on my post on ig so um basically i asked you guys to write me anything that you guys would like to know pg-13 appropriate because we trying to keep it classy on this channel and also my family and nieces and nothing like everyone watches my video so we're trying to keep it a little bit classy over here okay so the first question i see is how many piercing the tattoos do you have i have i actually have a whole separate video of that on my channel i will link it in this video somewhere but i have a whole video like how many tattoos i have how many piercings i have and I also show you guys each one that I have and like the meanings behind it. Not all of my tattoos have meanings, but the ones that do have the meanings, I do explain that all in the video. So if you guys want to see that, I will link it in this video somewhere. But yeah, um, what was the turning point in your YouTube career that turned you into an influencer and was that always the plan? I don't... <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and say that being an influencer was not a plan. I felt like when anyone makes a YouTube, they hope to God later on down the road that they are able to do YouTube and have that pay their bills and this be like their sole job. I'm pretty sure that's anyone's freaking goal. As many people like to say that they just did YouTube for fun. I'm pretty sure that's everyone's goal. Everyone wants to be able to work and do what they love and 
not have a nine to five corporate job and be able to have a free schedule and all that stuff so um in the beginning i always wanted that to be like my dream job i always had a goal for me to just work solely for youtube that was always a goal i'm gonna say that it was always a goal of mine but <clears throat> when i first started youtube i knew it was going to take some time so i obviously still had like a nine to five and all that stuff but i would really have to say the video that really changed my entire life had to have been my um liquid cat quick weave into a bob which i did a year ago oh that's so crazy i really did do that like a year ago around this time i did it like in july like when i first moved into this apartment which i'm moving again <laughs> I'm moving again. I've only been here for a year and I'm already planning to move, but that's because I'm moving in with my boyfriend. So um, I'm moving again with husband. But when I first moved into this apartment is when I had did that video. So it's just really actually insane that in one year, my life literally went in a complete 180 just off the strip of that video. So basically that video went viral. It went viral on Facebook that's where it was it went viral on Facebook and I don't really like the fact that Facebook like you don't really get anything from Facebook like YouTube obviously pays you per month or whatever and paychecks but with Facebook because all my videos were going viral on Facebook when I wasn't posting a video I didn't really get credit for it so that's probably the only thing I don't really like about Facebook but it is what the freak it is I'm not complaining because at the end of the day, I'm here where I am today off the strength of Facebook. But yeah, so that was a video that was a complete 180 for my whole entire career. That's when people started noticing me. That's when people started coming to my channel. People started, you know, all that stuff. So um, I have to thank that video. <laughs> and also, I don't know. I think when I just started doing Liquid Cat Quick Weaves, I just felt like it wasn't really out at that time. That was all over the place. But a year ago... Liquid Cat Quick Weaves was not really a thing. Like, I didn't really see anyone doing front toes with Liquid Cat Quick Weaves. I'm not about to sit here on this video and say that I started it. But at the end of the day, I never, I personally never saw people doing videos on it. Which is why I wanted to come with a video. I never saw someone do a Liquid Cat with a front toe. So, I experimented. I planned it out in my head. I tried it in a video. It worked. And then I just started doing more and more and more videos with it. So... Um, I think off the strength that it's never been seen is why I got so popular off of that video. Who really knows? I don't really know, but all I have to do is assume who really knows what the whole, I don't really know. I'm trying to get into my natural hair, but it's so thick and kinky. I want curls like yours. Have you had that curl pattern your whole life? And what is your hair care regimen? I think she's talking about that picture that I have. That's not my hair, that's actually a wig that I defined the curls on. Um, the whole main purpose of me having that video was to show you guys how you can define your curls like that. It wasn't more so for the, the wig itself, it was more so for like the curls and the products that I use. So I think that's where people kind of got things twisted. Like it wasn't really the fact that the wig was $400. I obviously knew that, but I think it was more so I wanted to talk about the products and the regimen that I use to get my hair that defined so I guess that answers that so if you want to see like my products that I use definitely go and check out that video but yeah that was a wig but the products that I use are like real products okay I love your work and I just wanted to know if you have always wanted to own your own business or did your passion for your hair and makeup fuel the desire for your own business by the way I'm by the way, on those blonde bundles of yours, I'm calling my name. First of all, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I don't just do blonde bundles. My natural color will be out very soon. I posted a picture like um, a few days ago of me having all my natural bundles like in hand to finally show you guys what it looked like. But... Um, to say that my hair and makeup fueled me having a business, I think it's 110% correct. I always wanted to be a business owner. I went to school for marketing management. So 
the fact that ha- to have a business was always in my mind is absolutely true. I just didn't know what kind of business I wanted to start. Um, but I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to work for myself. And I always wanted to have something to call my own. My grandma always said, you know, you don't really have anything until you have something in your name. And I feel like that is absolutely true. That is absolutely positively true. You don't have nothing until you have something in your name. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you're still working with somebody else. Even all these like corporate people, people that's like VPs and stuff. At the end of the day, you're still working with somebody else. You don't really have anything until you have something into your name. Personally. <laughs> and this is how I think it's I think she's 110% right you know what I mean so I always wanted to be my own boss that was the thing about me I always always wanted to be my own boss so to say that it was going to be hair and makeup I would say I didn't know what exactly I wanted it to be I just knew that I wanted to be my own boss and I just knew that I wanted to have something in my name and I knew that I wanted to have something that was mine so I definitely think that when I started getting more and more popular on hair and makeup, that was pretty much like my path that I was going to go because I was like, okay, you know, I'm getting pretty more and more and more known for doing hair and for doing wigs and doing makeup and all that stuff. So why not use that to my advantage and make my own business with that? So that's pretty much where the whole fairy stylish came from. By the way, you guys thank my boyfriend for that name. <clears throat> He's such a freaking genius. He's the one that came up with the whole very stylish name. Because if you think about it, very stylish, very stylish. <laughs> so that's where the name came from. My boyfriend came up with it. He named it very stylish. Um, so definitely kudos to him because it just stuck. It just stuck and now it's like a whole brand now. So that's freaking awesome i actually want to show you guys my packaging and everything i want to show you guys all the packaging that i finalized on like i said i'm my own engineer like i legit made all of my packaging i designed it i did all of that so oh, so stressful like this whole thing has just been so freaking stressful but I'm making it work and I did it all by myself like that's the most accomplished thing that I have ever done I legit made a whole entire brand by myself that's insane so I went ahead and did one eye off camera because I didn't really know what kind of look I wanted to do so we just went off on guard today so I guess this is what we're doing <laughs> I guess this is what we're doing today oh my gosh I have not done anything crazy like this in a very 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 long time so moving on to the next question um apps awesomely beautiful and very talented go queen hey girl thank you what type of treatment did you use on your skin to clear it up your skin is beautiful thank you so much and i went to a dermatologist you know i tried everything in the books from using organic things using all natural um getting drugstore products that was very popular i tried everything you could ever imagine to get my skin to back to normal but the only thing that really saved my skin was me going to the dermatologist spending all right let's move on to this face hunting next question are you a cosmetologist by trade you said i believe that doing hair is your fave I'm actually not a licensed cosmetologist. I learned by just fearing, figuring things out, trying things, experimenting, and that's pretty much how I learned. I'm very self-taught. Assuming you do watch YouTube videos of other people dyeing hair, who do you watch? Have you have they inspired any of your looks? Um when it comes to dyeing hair tutorials, the only one that I really watch is Guy Tang. He inspired a lot of my a lot of my looks. The thing about me is I don't like copying. Um, I don't like taking someone's idea and doing the exact same thing. I like to do inspired looks. I don't like I just don't like copying it. I mean I think I guess that comes from being an artist. Artists sometimes don't really like to copy off of other artists. That's just what it is when it comes to that. Even when it comes to my tattoos, so like if I see something on the internet and I want something like that, I will take it to my tattoo artist and say, I want something inspired by this. I don't want you to just take it, put it on a freaking 
you know, thing, copyright off of it and put it on my body. No, I want you to come up with something on your own, use your own style, but do something inspired, um, you know, by this, whatever I sent to them. So, I feel like a lot of, who else really dyes hair like that? I know Anthony Cuts used to do his thing when it came to like dyeing hair, but I don't really think he really used color like that. I think he was more so like bleaching, like bleaching things like blonde or like brown and stuff. So he really inspired me to get all in like the whole hair coloring thing. Um, but yeah, like the only person I really, I really watch when it comes to like coloring videos will definitely be Guy Tang and he inspired a ton a ton of my looks like a ton of my looks when did you figure out that you can do hair and makeup i don't know when i stopped drawing on paper and canvases <laughs> when i just kind of ventured off from you know doing like really artsy things and i saw that people were starting to do hair and makeup i kind of pretty much just took my artistry from drawing on paper and painting on canvases to doing it on other people and you know doing eye makeup and hair and basically painting on wigs because that's really what i consider my wig um that's really considered what i do with wigs i consider it painting i'm legit painting on wigs and i think that's why i enjoy it so much because i feel like an artist when i do wigs i legit sit in front of my tv binge watch netflix and paint hair for hours and i enjoy it i love it <laughs> um this smells so good i don't know if anyone else uses the huda beauty complexion primer but it just smells it just has a very yummy smell to it it just smells so yummy i love it i am really inspired to start making wigs and dyeing them but i'm scared of color do you have any advice my advice to that is just to do it um honestly start by taking samples of the hair like little small snippets of the hair and seeing what color dyes really look like on the actual hair that is one thing i have learned before i used to just go in with hair color and mess up a lot of times because i never really knew a lot of times the colors you see on the box or the colors you see on outside of the tube of the color is not the same color that's inside of the packaging so that is honestly something i have learned is to actually sample out the color on like a small strip of hair first and then see what the color actually really looks like before you go ahead and put it onto the wig and then ruin the wig like how i did so many times <laughs> How many kids would you like? Uh, I don't want a whole army. I will say that much. Um, my boyfriend wants like six kids. I don't really know about that. Uh -huh. We talk about that all the time. I am not having an army of kids. I think three is decent. I think three is a very decent number. Three or two. Three or two is my number. That sounds pretty good to me magical thanks girl what is your most favorite wig that you've made so far my favorite wig i would say it's two of them my ultimate favorite one is the one that i just did which is my caramel apple if you guys did not see on instagram i just made that literally like two days ago and i love it so much i love that wig so much um it's basically like a brown ginger type of wig and it has a peekaboo in the back of like a sour apple green and it really looks like a, a caramel apple like legit so um my fairies all named that name because everyone was signing in my dms hey y'all <laughs> everyone was signing in my dms saying caramel apple caramel apple caramel apple so i decided to name it caramel apple since everyone pretty much said the same name all at once so yeah but that's my favorite that video will be out right after this one so if you guys are curious about it you will see exactly what i'm talking about i used way too much foundation on the back of my hand i always do that like i always do that um how do you deal with stress i see a lot of people going on i see a lot of why can't I read? <laughs> 
How do you deal with stress? I see you have a lot going on. How do you deal with it all? Congrats on your hair and lash line. Girl, this proves how I deal with stress. <laughs> but seriously, like I have a thing with stressing myself out. Um, the only way that I really deal with it is by talking about my stress tendencies. Um, we all know what my skin can do. Like I'm a victim of breakouts when it comes to me stressing. That's how I know I'm like really stressed out is if I have like a crazy breakout on my forehead or just on my face. So I am a victim of acne pertaining to stress, which freaking sucks. But then, you know, at the same time, now that I'm aware of it, now I know that I need to like calm down. I need to start talking about my, you know, problems and stuff. It's like a trigger. Like I know like, you know, it's triggered. So now I know I need to start, you know, being more, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I need to start talking about it. So maybe I'll like bug my boyfriend's ear off. Um, when we go to DC and start talking about everything I'm stressed about because we leave for DC tomorrow to see my granny and my family and stuff so maybe I'll like bug him and you know talk his ear off about everything I'm like stressed about obviously like it's so stressful to come out with your own brand by yourself I think that's the main thing that has me like so stressed out is the fact that I don't really have anyone helping me and I'm legit doing everything by myself but like I said in the beginning, like I wouldn't ask for it to be different. Like obviously I would want a little bit more help when it comes to um, producing all this stuff and me more so just having the ideas and stuff. But you know, I like it this way because this way I know what I'm doing. I know the ins and outs of the business. I know exactly what to do. I would rather it be like this because now I know what goes into running my business and what goes into all of this instead of having someone do it for me and then if everyone were to quit i have no idea what i'm doing so that's why i'm not complaining and that's why i prefer it this way but like i said it's very stressful so i really just deal with it by talking talking to friends talking to family members uh, you know getting more people involved in it asking more people's opinions about things and stuff um that really helps me a lot when it comes to you know dealing with stuff like that hmm. will your site have your custom wigs yes it will they will be on my site whenever it launches any recommendations for growing out a big chop eating healthy drinking out of water and staying out of your hair <laughs> Staying out of your hair, whether it's doing protective styles or just not messing in it at all. What truly inspired you to do? Why can I never read? Like I don't understand. What truly inspires you, and how do you, how do you as creative stay focused? I'm just gonna assume what this says. is really what inspires me i'm joking <laughs> but no seriously i think the main thing that really inspires me is you guys like i'm not even trying to sound super cliche or anything like that but honestly like if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't even be where i am today that's just complete freaking honesty because if it wasn't for people watching my videos if it wasn't for people sharing my stuff if it wasn't for people telling people about me and stuff like that obviously you know people would know nothing about me so the fact that you guys encourage me, you guys are always rooting for me, you guys are always shouting me out, you guys are always telling people about me and sharing my videos, sharing my content, sharing my pictures and all that stuff. That's really what like pushes me to keep going because I know that you guys like what I'm doing and I know that everything that I'm doing is not for a waste, you know what I mean? So like, people actually S with me, people actually like me, people actually like what I'm doing, people actually respect me in my field and i think that's like the main thing about it and the 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 real thing that really keeps me focused is having people that support you around you whether it's friends whether it's you know your significant other whether it's your family that's really what keeps me focused because if it wasn't for them like keeping my head like strictly in the game like pfft, this is when I have to give like kudos to my boyfriend because I know I can be so annoying sometimes <laughs> whether I'm like talking his ear off about something that pissed me off or 
talking his ear off about you know what's bothering me when it comes to this industry or like people pissing me off or whatever you know he's really good when it comes to giving like really good advice and keeping my head like where it needs to be because I can get very unfocused sometimes and he really keeps me stop all this nonsense stay focused we're talking about this we're doing this we're staying in this lane and keep it there like that's how my boyfriend is to me. <laughs> that's how he is to me and you know what i need that because if it wasn't for that i would be just off in the wilderness like doing whatever like so yeah, when it comes to that, like you really need to have a very good support system and having people keep you where you need to be. And that is keeping you in the right lane and keeping you focused. At least that's what really helps me. Just an inspiration to us all, especially me. This hair is just amazing. I've been watching you since 2015, so I'm pretty much updated. Oh, by the way, I know husband got you having that natural glow. I guess it's a Aquemini thing. You know, I just found out what Aquemini means. Aquarius Gemini. I did not know that was like a thing. <laughs> Keep shining, uplifting, and inspiring me. I appreciate you. I appreciate all that you do and I can't wait to get me some lashes. Girl, I can't wait to get you some lashes too. They will finally launch any day now. <laughs> so pretty. Oh. Hi Red Fairy. Fairy. <laughs> Hi Red Fairy. I love your videos on YouTube. When did you when did you say to yourself, I want to start working in beauty and hair? Also, any tips for beginners? Um, I didn't really have a day that I just sat and told myself that I wanted to do hair and makeup. I literally just did it. I I saw that I had, I'm like really talking and like doing stuff. I saw that I had a talent. I saw that, you know, I was getting better. Why can't I keep her? I don't know why. I saw that I had a talent. I saw that people were really engaging in what I was doing, what I was creating. And I just took that and ran with it, honestly. Like, I just felt like I found my purpose. You know how good it feels when you feel like you finally found your purpose in life? I don't really think people ever really understand what I'm saying when I say that. But I felt like I finally found my purpose. Like, why I'm here, why I'm on this earth, why I exist, why I was ever born. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if anyone else ever thinks about stuff like that, but I do sometimes because I want to know what my worth is being here i want to know like what my purpose is like why am i on this earth obviously i was born for a reason and the day that you finally figure out or think you figured out why you've why you've been placed on this earth like it's so refreshing and it's it feels so good oh so when i finally saw that people were really rooting for me people were really like in my corner people were i got such a tan oh my gosh when i started seeing that people were like like legit in my corner and they were really rooting for me and they wanted me to be successful and they wanted me to be you know the best person that i could ever possibly be that's what really made me want to keep going and that's what really made me who i am today like i tell you guys this all the time like if it wasn't for you guys you guys are the reason I, I'm really here. Like, obviously, I have the talent, but you guys are the motivators. You guys are the people that help me get here. You guys are the people that push me to get here. And I just did what I always do. I just used my talents. And you guys really f with me. And that's why I f with y'all that, you know? Those contrasts look very natural. I like those. Thanks, girl. There's Salatica. Abuela, natural color. So pretty. Which is your favorite wig? I think I answered that already. And what's your favorite hair color to dye on your wigs? And also, what's your favorite style to dye on them? Wow. Ombre, full head, full color roots. I don't know. I like every single style, honestly. I like to switch it up. I don't like to do the same thing all the time. How did you start your hairline? Um... That's a very good question. <laughs> that is a very good question. So, like I told you guys, like when it came to me doing this whole business thing, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I'm not even going to sit here and lie and say that I had like a whole strategic plan. 
I didn't plan nothing out. I know you're supposed to have a business plan when it comes to starting a business. I had absolutely no business plan. I knew nothing. I didn't know where to go and get vendors. I didn't know who to talk to, if there even was somebody to go and talk to. I didn't know who to go for my website. I didn't even know if I wanted a website. All I knew was website cost like three, four thousand dollars and I did not have that money at that time. I didn't know if I wanted to just do big cartel. I didn't know if I wanna just have standard packaging. I didn't know if I want I didn't know nothing. I didn't know anything. So in the beginning, I think that's why it took me so long because I was just so very overwhelmed because I didn't know nothing. I knew nothing. It's like the fact that I'm in this beauty community and I literally knew nothing about nothing. Um, so I think that's why it took me so long to even get to the point where I'm legit finally almost done with my brand because I didn't know anything. Like. I did not know anything and it, like it just makes me so happy for myself because it's like I really figured it out like I really figured it out I really sat for hours upon hours upon hours researching companies researching websites you know where do you find vendors where do you get a website where do you find packaging like all this stuff and the thing that sucked about the whole process is the fact that a lot of my businesses that I work with are overseas. If we do the timetables here, a lot of the overseas companies are 12 hours ahead. So if it's daylight here, that means it's nighttime there. If it's nighttime here, that means it's daytime there. So I would literally be sitting up until four, five, six o'clock in the morning doing my business, <laughs> doing my business. And like this is where I literally just say kudos to my boyfriend because you know he watched me do all this he legit watched me do all this he watched me sit up to the crack of dawn he watched me up three four five o'clock in the morning emailing whatsapping all these companies I'm waking him up six o'clock in the morning like hey my packaging is done like you know like so excited and you know he was just so supportive through this whole thing like he honestly oh my gosh like he's the one that even pushed me to do this you know what i was gonna do you know what i was gonna do i wasn't even gonna come up with my own brand i was just gonna wholesale from someone i was gonna wholesale from someone not have a brand and just start making waves with people and then my boyfriend was like what are you doing he was like why are you acting like you don't have a name in this industry? Like, why are you acting like you can't do this? I'm like, cause babe, like, it is hard. Like, it's hard to have your own business. It's hard to do all that. He was like, so? Why are you acting like you can't do it? You know what I mean? So, like, so that's why I say when it comes to my boyfriend all the time, like, I'm just, like, so grateful for him because he's really the one that pushed me to even do this whole business. And him pushing me to do this whole business venture is why my business is the way that it is because I was literally gonna half asset. I was gonna half asset. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I was legit gonna take the easy route out. I was gonna wholesale some hair from somebody, not have my own brand, do what a lot of these other people are doing when it comes to like, you know, them not supplying the hair and having people send me in the hair to make wigs for them. I was gonna go that route. Not to say that that's a bad thing because everyone don't doesn't want to do the thing that I did. It's hard. It's hard. And when I sit and think about it, it's like I understand why people don't want to supply their own hair. I understand why people want to just have people send them in the hair. I'm going to get it in my mouth. Like I understand. Like I understand. I get it now. I understand now of why people do things the way that they do when it comes to like this hair business because this is on a whole nother level. I had to find somebody to make labels. I had to find a photographer. I had to find so much stuff on my own, but you know what? I am not complaining. I am not complaining because look at my brand, y'all. Look at my brand. It's legit. The shit's not easy. Like, you know what? I'm not complaining because at the end of the day, look at my brand. Look at my brand. What? Look at my brand. You know what? Let me show y'all. Let me wash my hands real quick because I don't want no makeup getting on my white packaging. And let me show y'all what I mean by look at my brand. So I have everything behind me of what I want to show you guys, but let me just go ahead and set my face first because I feel like I look crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, like my packaging is, I feel like my packaging is 
the, the thing that really makes me stand out. I'm not going to sit here on this camera and say I have the best hair in the world. I'm not going to sit here on this camera and say I have the best lashes in the world. I'm not going to sit on this camera and say I got the best packaging in the world. But one thing I do know is I stand out because I really did take my time with my packaging and because I really did take my time with my whole entire thing. If you don't like anything about me, one thing you can do is say that I I put in effort and time within my brand. I definitely did. I definitely did. And I feel like my work shows for that. So I'm going to let this powder sit and bake for a little bit. Let me wait for my hands so you guys can see um, everything to show you. The first things first, you guys know you have seen these before. This is my lash packaging. It is red faux alligator. We have some gold details. Everything is rose gold. Everything is pretty much red or rose gold in my whole entire line because I love those two colors. We have details on the back. And we also have the rose gold inside. Um, this is what I mean by everything is not done because I will be getting bigger trays to fit in here and it will be the names of the lashes on the packaging and you also get that right there. So this is my eyelash packaging. Now we also have my wig box. So I have two wig boxes and then I also have a bundle box. My bundle box is the same packaging as this but it's just smaller to fit all the bundles in it. So this is one of the wig boxes. It looks like this. It is matte with laminate on it. The box itself is matte though, but you see all the color is shiny. Details, girl. Details. The inside looks like this. It also has rainbow splatter spray paint details. <laughs> and ah, I'm trying to close it. You also get the back, which has more detail, um, social media on it, more splatter, and all that stuff. So, like I said, the bundle box will be the same as that. It's just going to be smaller to fit all the bundles. Actually, let me show you the bundle. No, let me show you the other wig box. So, this wig box, everyone is not going to be getting this wig box. Only because this wig box was very expensive. So, I pretty much wanted this to be more for like the high-priced hair and the high-priced um, wigs. You know people that are spending like a lot of money not to say that you know you can't get this box if you don't spend a lot of money but like I said it was very expensive to make this very expensive very expensive to make this so I wanted to really make this for someone that really put in some money you know and that's just me being very blunt and real I can't be anything other <laughs> but that this is what the box looks like let me do a side face um so I'm actually going to end up taking off the bow. This is what I mean. Like everything is not done because I keep changing my mind with things. So it's really going to come looking like this. I'm not going to do the bow. So we're going to put magnets to have it closed like this and no bow. So like this. And then it opens up. Um, we're still not. So you also see the other logo inside as well. And you get that on both sides. And you see the back same thing like i said this will not be there i changed my mind with the bow because i just felt like a lot of people were doing like that whole bow packaging thing and i kind of was over it and i got over it real quick so we're not going to do that anymore last but not least is the actual bundle so let me find one that actually has the uh the thing on it so you guys kept basically wondering like if i was going to be selling more hair other than blonde hair yes that's just because it takes longer to find natural color hair than it does blonde hair i feel like blonde hair like once i found the right texture with my blonde hair i was sold um don't get me wrong i tried like 10 15 different companies when it came to hair vendors maybe even 30 companies like i'm not even joking i've been trying to find hair vendors since january and it is now august so that just tells you guys how long it took me to really finalize my hair vendors but i finally did it so these are my natural color bundles and this is my bundle tags that i was telling you guys about how i had to literally go and find a freaking bundle tag maker 
to design these tags for me and these wraps for me and all that stuff. You guys can just see and hear how drained I am. <laughs> how drained I am from all of this. If you don't like me, you will at least give me my props for my brand and how I did everything. Cause I took some my time with that. I took some my time. You guys remember Ariel? Oh my gosh, look how big she got. She don't wanna see Ariel. Look at that face. <laughs> so I'm debating if I'm gonna switch my eyelashes because mm, whatever, I'll keep it. Okay, so moving on, let's do I feel like I look like a completely different person than I did like ten minutes ago. Be like that sometimes. What should be your advice? Yo, young girls, ugh. what should be your advice to young girls trying to start a YouTube channel? Love your videos, love from Holland. Oh, snap. <laughs> hey, Holland. Uh, my advice would be, like I said before, like I think I said in the beginning of this whole tutorial or, you know, talk, whatever. I pretty much said that I feel like it's so much harder to start a youtube now like i don't know what it is but i feel like everybody everybody trying to be a youtuber now so i feel like it's way more competitive it's way harder it's way competitive but that's not to say that you can't do it um i feel like nowadays people are now in the mindset of in the mindset of i just want to start a youtube so that i can start making money and i can quit my job um you know that wasn't my view on youtube when i first started and i think people that are you know really successful on youtube when they start first started youtube they didn't even know that they were going to get to where they are today just from youtube so i feel like if you do start youtube you have to do it because you enjoy it you have to do it because you like it because when you first start youtube you have to invest a lot of money you have to invest a lot of time you have to invest a lot of creativity you have to invest a lot of thought you have to invest a lot of everything when it comes into doing videos for YouTube and you really have to enjoy it and you really have to like it because you'll literally be like forcing yourself to do things. Like when I first started YouTube and I wasn't where I am today where I can just make a video every once in a blue moon and like, you know, I'm still fine. So when I first started YouTube and I had absolutely no idea where I was going to go with it, I did YouTube because I enjoyed it. I did it because I liked it. I did it because I enjoyed it. I liked sitting and doing my makeup on camera. I liked entertaining people in a sense with my hair coloring. Actually at the time, I don't even think I was really doing hair color like that. I think when I first started YouTube, I didn't start getting into hair coloring videos until like now-ish. When I first started, I was only doing quick waves. Like, that's how I know y'all are true OG of my whole channel. Um, because I was only doing quick waves. And that's pretty much how I got known, in my personal opinion, because I was doing little cats. And no one was really going on the video doing those at the time. So, you know, I really invested a lot of my craft and a lot of my mind, a lot of my thoughts into doing YouTube. And I would be up until like the crack of dawn. This is when I was still working my nine to five. And you know, I was still working at Sephora at the time. And I would get home from work at 10 o'clock, edit my video all the way until like three o'clock in the morning to get back up at seven to be to work by eight. So this is where I say you really have to want it and you really have to put your time and effort into it. You can't have asset because if you have asset, it will show in your crafts and People can see that. People can spot that. People can see that. And people won't want to watch it because they'll feel like you're just trying to make videos, you know, to get a quick, get quick, which, get quick, which scheme. Say that five times fast. Um, so, yeah. So, I feel like in order for you to really grow quality and, you know, real subscribers that really like you, real subscribers that really, you know, respect you i feel like you really have to be dedicated to really starting a youtube video or starting a youtube channel sorry 
Um, so this portion I'm just going to be talking and taking out my pen so that we can kind of speed this video up. Um, what the heck? What would be your best advice to a person trying to start a YouTube channel? I feel like I just answered that. For all the ways you have, customized what's your favorite, I answered that. When was the first time you felt like, wow, I can actually do hair and makeup? I think I answered that already too. I feel like you guys are all asking like the same questions. Did you go to cosmetology school? No, I did not. Um, did you learn to sew your waist? To, how did you learn to sew your waist to perfection? What is your biggest challenge for the frontals? Um practice makes perfect <laughs> practice makes perfect and I will say that 10 times for you guys to understand because what I've been on YouTube since 2015 have I been on YouTube since 2015 really wow that's crazy so I'm like on YouTube going on two and a half years now that's nuts that's really nuts because it doesn't even feel like that time yeah practice is a virtue and I feel like everybody just wants to just you know just do things everybody just want things to just happen quick and you know some people are blessed to just have only been on youtube for a couple months and get the success that they do i know a couple people that only was on youtube for like one or two months and they got a hundred thousand subscribers literally in that time i'm not even joking but other people you know like me had to grind and make it there and i still don't even feel like i'm at the top with all these other youtubers that got like you know 500 700 a million subscribers i feel like i'm still in the batch of still trying to find my way and make it and all that so i am just like messing up my curls like i still feel like i'm still trying to find myself and find my name in this whole youtube world so i'm not even saying this in the aspect of i made it so i'm trying to give it by other people because i'm still trying to find my damn self so I feel like everyone just needs to have patience. It's like people just don't want to have patience anymore. Everybody just want to just get it quick and just get it fast and just, you know, say that they made it with no grind. You can't make it to the top with no grind. You don't, if you don't have the grind, you won't appreciate it. If you don't have the grind, you're not going to know what it takes to get it to the top and what, what it takes to be successful. You will have no life lesson. You know, everything is a lesson in life and that's how I look at things like everything is a lesson everything that happens to you in life is a lesson and I like to learn I like to learn I like to learn from my mistakes I like to learn from you know anything so I love life lessons because I know what to do what not to do what I can omit what I can add I like to, I like learning in life and I feel like that's the whole purpose of life is to learn and to grow and People just don't want to grow nowadays. Like, I don't understand that. Like, they just don't want to, they just don't want to learn. They just don't want to grow. They just want to get rich quick and call it a day. And it don't work like that. That's not what you call life. Life does not work like that. Do you plan on broadening your YouTube channel, some vlogs, and even fashion? Yes, I do. I really want to get more into the old fashion thing. So, you know, I feel like now is a good time to tell you guys. In November... I have decided to go under surgery. I made the decision that I wanted to get a breast reduction and I'm going to vlog that whole process. Um, I feel like it's very educational because a lot of people in my shoes probably feel the same way that I feel. I'm only 5'4 and my breast size is on a whole nother level. Like It's to the point where my boobs are to the point where they take over my entire body. <laughs> And I'm kind of over that. Like, thank you so much, mom, parents, you know, for giving me the boobs that you did. But they got to go. They have got to go down. My back is hurting. You know, like, it's just, it's too much now. It's just too much now. So, I made a decision, finally, that I want to get my boobs smaller. It's just, I can't wear nothing. Like, I don't wear stuff, obviously. I obviously can still have style with boobs, but it's too much like it's just to the point where it's just too much and it's too overbearing so i've pretty much made the decision and i want to vlog it because i pretty i know a lot of people just kind of want more information on it because i don't really see people 
talking about breast reduction surgeries. I more so see people talking about like, you know, lipo and BBLs and all types of stuff like that. But I don't really see many videos on people talking about um, undergoing breast reduction and all that stuff. So I want to do it and I want to go through with it. So let me show you guys how I do this. Pretty much I just like to finger comb the hair out. Okay, so, oh my packaging so in the background, whatever, it's cool. So this is the hair, this is what I mean by it's just so freaking pretty, so freaking pretty, so pretty, I can't. So basically what I like to do is, I like to first finger comb everything in a direction that I want it to go which is going outward and when it comes to the front bang part I definitely need a little bit of help with that so with that I like to take my little brush and start combing the hair backward I'll also take my hairspray and kind of shape the bangs said it I just now got to the point where I'm able to really do a styling video on curled hair because it took me such a long time to actually get the hair you know to really curl the way that I want and I guess it really helps also because this hair is like so nice and I also feel like it helps when your barrel is at 350 degrees i used to have my barrels <coughs> at like 400 450 life lesson don't do that because you're actually frying off the hair um it just is not the move and also you have to layer the hair but like i said i'll do a whole dedicated video of how i did these curls because this came out bomb okay that's pretty much it guys so literally as far as the questions everyone pretty much had the same questions and that's either about my pack uh not about my packaging because i'm looking at my packaging it's either about how i started my business or how to become a youtuber or how i became an influencer and stuff like that everyone literally pretty much had the same question so um, that was really pretty much my main target. I'll probably sit here and answer a few more. I don't want this video to be like super duper long, but you know, I don't really mind it. What's your idea of girls day out? Going shopping for sneakers. <laughs> um, are those freckles or makeup? It's makeup in that picture. <sighs> When are you and husband getting married? Ha 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 ha. Ask him. <laughs> I'm joking. Me and him were actually, we talk about it all the time. We talk about it all the time. He always tells me that he wants to marry me. So I just think it's to the point where it's all about the weight gain, you know, waiting things out, taking our time. That is one thing about me and him is that we are taking our time in our relationship. It took us, we didn't actually get official in our relationship until a year after we dated. That's one thing about it. So we are really taking our time. We're taking our time to get to know each other. We're taking our time in our whole relationship, understanding each other, learning our, you know, takes with each other, knowing, you know, just learning things. We're in the learning stage. Um, and I feel like you always 
never really know who you're really dating and that's the whole thing about it is that people don't really take the time to get to know their partner so i feel like this is my first real relationship uh we've been together for i don't well we've been together for a while wow wow only because i feel like when me and him met each other we was like inseparable like inseparable like from the day i met him <laughs> Maybe I will make a video with him um, talking about when me and him first met and all that stuff because it's actually a very cute story. <laughs> See, I'm all turning ready and talking about it. You're like, oh, man. I'm loving this whole application. So again, if you guys want to see how I curl my hair and everything, there will be a whole separate video. But I hope I answered you guys' questions. Hopefully. Um, I'm so happy to be back. I'm really back this time. I know I keep saying I'm be back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And then I'm gone for like another week. But I'm really back this time. So I love y'all. Bye.